So on 25, it says we have two lines cut by a transversal. On your paper, are those two lines parallel? How do you know, Mr. Clunker? On number 25, look at your paper. How do you know <laughs> that those two lines are parallel? Because the arrows are... No, just because there are arrows. There's two arrows on both lines, right? Now, if there's two arrows here and only one arrow here, these lines are not parallel. This line is parallel with something else, and this line would be parallel with something else. But since there are two arrows on both lines, then the number of arrows match up, those lines are parallel. All right? The line that intersects the two lines is called a transversal. Okay? So on number 25, it gives me an angle here and an angle here. What is the relationship of those two angles? Alternate exterior angles. And if you're having trouble digging up these words right now, you need to make up some flashcards. Okay? It's not going to come easy. It's going to require some effort. Okay? So, or at least participating in class, alternate exterior angles. What do I know about alternate exterior angles if the lines are parallel, Bo? If the lines are parallel, what do I know about alternate exterior angles? Do you have another earbud in your ear? Just have one hanging? Excuse me. <laughs> They're on the outside, but alternate exterior angles are congruent. All right? So since they're congruent, what does that mean? If I call this angle up here angle A and this angle down here angle B, what do I know about angle A and angle B? So angle A equals angle B. So now in the actual problem, it tells me that this is 10x plus 4 and this is 9x plus 12. So what do I do? Garrett, what do I do, bud? Good job. So what does A equal? Okay, we have it labeled differently, but it works. Then what would B equal? Excellent. Okay. This is like, for some reason, this part stalls everybody out and they get weirded out on this. It's really no big deal. If, if you have X's on both sides, what's your first step? Get rid of one of them. The smaller one or bigger one? Let's get rid of the smaller one. So how do I get rid of 9X? So I'm going to subtract 9X and that would get rid of it, right? But algebra, if I do it to one side... I have to do it to the other side. And so now that would give me 12 equals 1x plus 4. Now what do I do? Subtract the 4. So that would give me 8 equals x. Now, on your t tests and stuff, you got to be really careful in geometry. Because most of the time, we're not going to ask you just to solve for x, but we'll actually ask you to find the angle. So now, if we ask you to find the angle, so what would be the measurement of each of those angles? How would I find those angles? What's the size or measurement of this angle here? How did you do that? So 10 times x, which is 8, plus 4. 84. Now let's check the other one. Is 9 times 8 plus 12, does that equal 84? Is 72 plus 12 84? So we did it right. 